TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family. From Chicago to the UK, man, right behind me, you see it, little warning screen just in case. Twitch.com is where you can catch a live stream usernames at the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon, where we post Monday through Sunday. Seven to ten videos a day, UK everything. Premier League, movies, television series. This is England Collapses. Has England been silenced? By Wesley Winter, of course. Man on the ground. Talk to me, man. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. I'm going to try to be as opinionated as possible on what is being said by people. Just in that specific instance. Okay, I hope y'all understand and didn't fast forward past this part. Because if you did, I hope that you do better next time. Storm am I? What's he done? Why ain't he done? Everyone's scared to speak. You can't say this, you can't say that. Who? You don't need a dialogue. Government, who are they? Britain's gone mad. It's a like hotel. an illegal migrant. There's someone who has to come into the country without a visa. The idea of an illegal migrant is a complete fallacy. You think they're like economic migrants or? I think they're soldiers. There's one. The I okay. Been attacked, children been attacked, everybody been attacked. We all have this land. I've always been working class, I've been a blue collar worker. All immigrants are more working class than anybody in this country. Let's go. Yeah. What, what am I? They turn everyone's attention to their imaginary monster before right. Today, thousands are rallying from here in Victoria, going to Whitechapel, protested against what they see as a two-tier system and threats to free speech in England. This is the same place where I got arrested a few months ago. Oh man, you taking real chances. Spinning a block, Wes? You taking real chances. What are you doing? What do you mean disorder, mate? What are you doing arresting me? Oh my god, are you joking? And who knows what would have happened if things went further. We'll speak with both sides to see what they have to say. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to fill up now. Loads and loads of Union Jack flags. I even see a couple Israel flags. And obviously, Tommy Robinson was reminded yesterday, people are saying this will stay peaceful, but... Wait, he was remanded? I didn't, I didn't even know that. We'll see how it goes as we get on. We'll speak to some people and see what they have to say. What's your reason for coming today? Uh, there's, there's many reasons why the, the UK have now uh, decided to make a stand. Um, but for me personally, it's to stand for um, freedom of speech. Um, the state of this country is in such disarray. There has to be something done about it. And with all these people here together, we can get some ideas and we can talk to each other about how we get out of this nightmare situation that we're all living in at the minute. So you I think that's Cap. I think freedom of speech is important. It's very important. But you're not going to come to a to this type of situation and create a dialect very peacefully because of what has been going on in the past. It's going to pivot towards negativity very swiftly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not going to pretend like, oh, we're here to put, to put like minds together and create a dialect on what can be done. No, this is not the way to do it. Even if it is peaceful, nothing ever gets... The, there has never been an instant that I can re recollect where the government was looking like, oh man, there's a protest. Shoot. Let's get something done. Stand with uh, Tommy Robinson today. Yeah, what do you, I absolutely do. What do you think is happening to free speech in England at the minute? Well, it doesn't exist anymore, does it? It's, it's everyone's scared to speak. Yeah. I do agree, though, that free speech is important and people are muzzling people everywhere. 
rather it be mainstream media or or you can't post this you can't do that like it's getting out of hand yeah but i mean lots are out today do you think people be quite outspoken today i hope so yeah because there's a big crowd of us i want keir stalin to see you know that we're not going to let him stamp us down i feel like as a white person you can't say what you feel because you're slapped down you have to do what you're being told to do. Yeah, and it does seem like freedom of speech is kind of, Everybody yeah, being taken away. But if you say something to a white person, you're not allowed to say that. Yeah. So, but yeah. You know, I got to remember this is the UK, not America. If, if somebody said this in America, the general response will be like, well, hey, now you know how we felt <laughs> or feel still, but like, this is not the, it's not the same energy there. So let me, you know, I got to it's um the country's just gone to pot really rest in peace peter lynch and tommy hope you're doing well see you when you're outside yeah people people like blame no offense sir tommy does not know you you won't see him you, you'll see him but he won't different anyway. cultures for issues in society do you think it's to do with that or do you think it's more the government we we as a nation we've allowed we've been so tolerant that we've become intolerant of our own culture so you can't say you can't say that we don't accept everybody because we do we've always have done yeah. but when Agreed. certain cultures deem it appropriate to overtake the original culture of this land yeah. that's when things need to stop yeah. and we go oh no i don't like that now and then they start whinging about it and go oh you're a racist you're a nazi you're a far right it ain't it's just right we are of this land yeah, so a lot of the people we will speak to today are going to be very patriotic. You heard from, from that man, he says he wants to protect... Uh, I'm, I'm part Native American and, and I, I hear you. I hear you when it... Take our land and make everything us and then when we speak, get small plot blankets. <laughs> and get relegated to certain parts of the land. And I, it's, I mean, it is what it is. Unfortunately, but no, I hear you. It's the English culture. And uh, yeah, that's been put into question recently, especially after all the, the protests and riots that happened in the summer. But wow, look at my people are here. That is a lot of people. I low key was wondering if uh, Wesley was going to do this one. He dropped a different video when this was happening. And me, I was so thirsty. I was like, bro, drop the vid. <laughs> I got to realize he was at it that day. And I was like, I come to Wesley specifically for stuff like politics involving the UK. No, mate. See you, buddy. Nice to see you, man. You come all the way from Glasgow. Hi, all the way from nice, up here, nice, hi. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Joe Stein says, unite the kingdom. What, what's happening to the kingdom at the minute? Um, it's 40 bits, to be honest. Um, there's stabbings going on all over the place, there's yeah. attacks going on, there's women being attacked, children being attacked, yeah. everybody being attacked. I don't think it matters where you go these days, whether it's England, Ireland, Scotland, Scotland. yeah, it's all over now. Yep, I, it's definitely worse than in England, I think, but um, it's just a matter of time. I've came down from Scotland today, um, it's just a matter of time before it gets worse up there, so that's why yeah. I'm doing here. And what do you think we'll see today? Do you think it'll be quite peaceful? Or? Um, I'm not sure. I've, as far as I'm aware, there's going to be... I hope they make me bite my tongue, man. I hope it stays peaceful and nobody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, opposition, um, a few different uh, groups and stuff, but hopefully everybody can stay peaceful. There's a lot of talk in the UK where people are from and who's coming into the country. But do you know where you're really from? Now you can. That's why I partnered with my heritage. Hey, salute Wes. Salute on getting the brand deals and paying the bills. Salute. I already got my heritage. I'm actually a full-fledged member. I know exactly where I am. My relatives are from and, you know, the code Wesley to get free shipping. Back to the video. It's really calm at the minute. Not many people are like singing songs. Maybe not many people have had uh, much to drink or something. It's a bit, bit quiet. People just waiting for the rally to start. But I heard I'm really happy that nobody is like, oh, don't put me on camera. Like, I feel like England, like for the most part, like, the UK knows like 
I'm outside. I can record myself or anything outside. <laughs> it's up to you to keep yourself off the camera. I'm, not, I'm, in, a, I'm in a public space. Anyway. It's meant to go on from 1 to about 6 p.m. They said they're meant to disperse Whitechapel. So we'll see what happens. No police presence at the minute as well. See the helicopter flying above. And that's about it so far, so yeah, we'll see what happens. But what do you think is happening to freedom of speech at the minute in England? Oh, they've gone nuts with you. You can't say this, you can't say that. And now, folk are getting, getting chucked in prison for putting some on Facebook. When they're, they're chucking criminals out of you, you were freed for uh, were it, uh, a non. Yeah, that's crazy. Facebook for a Facebook post. Well, I mean, if you're spreading false narratives and creating outright outrage, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Murder strangle crime, and that were alright. Get out in prison, and if you put an dirty, dirty tweet on Twitter. The UK judicial system is, it's terrible. <laughs> it's bad. It, like it's. I, I, I watch enough police interceptors and anything else to know that some of the sentences is outlandishly crazy. It's a, yeah. You're chucked in prison. It's disgraceful. Yeah. It's, it's so, if you don't believe in it, well, you deserve everything you get. You stand up for what you believe in and yeah. that's that. I mean, if you associate with this side, you might be called far right and a racist. What have you got to say to that? Uh, well, uh, have a go with it. Yeah, I mean, if I, if this is far right, well, that's it. Then I'm far right. I'll stand. I'll stay far right. And all if freedom's far. Bro, bro looked at him like, sir. He is a lot of things, but that is not it. All right, I'm far right, <laughs> and it's not far right. It's right so far. <laughs> <laughs> They're walking up pay streets for. Um, practice in the democratic right to uh, speak it out yeah. against the tyranny that's happening and they're getting jailed and criminals are getting let out early rapists, murderers and you, Peter Lynch is apparently committed but I've got my suspicions he was actually murdered in jail a 61 year old grandfather who only walked with a placard and prayed that um, the, the country would be better for his grandchildren growing up mm. and he was um, like so many other Patriots that we're going to hear the stories of today yeah. for the family members. I mean, it seems um, like, yeah, and it seems, and it's I'm, un I'm unaware of what happened to him. That's the second time he's been mentioned, but I'm unaware, so I didn't even speak on it the first time. I'm not going to speak on it this time. It seems like the biggest page at the minute is Tommy Robinson. Yeah. Are, are most people here for him, or is it? Uh, not just for Tommy, no. The people are here, but obviously partly for Tommy, but it's much bigger than Tommy. Uh, we're all Tommy, we're all Peter Lynch. We are standing up basically for the country. Uh, we, are, we are forefathers fought in the war, and you look at the country now, it's going to sh it's get flooded. With I, mean I have a video, it's three and a half hours long, about the UK from start to finish. Like it, and it includes everything that's ever happened in history. I need to watch it because it, it'll help me understand more. You know what I'm saying? It'll help me be less ignorant to certain facts. Migrants, cost the living crisis, the whole COVID debacle, it's all been done in purpose. And the people need to wake up and st stop being dumbed down by the media and realise what's happening. And look at independent people like Wesley Winter See and the mate. likes um, that, that bring you the real news for the streets. And you look at the people here, and I've seen people with all skin colours in this crowd, and they, they've no had one bit of problem in that, but the media will only cover that. And it looks like a huge turnout. To Once again, I think uh, the media is to blame for a lot of stuff. Uh, the, I think the media pits two sides against each other to scapegoat issues. Uh, um, I, I think I think both sides have a lot of commonality in what's being said and thought. And I think there's a few bad apples on both sides that clouds both sides' uh, main purpose, you know what I'm saying? And gets all the focus. Today, 100,000 possibly, but um, it's amazing just to be uh, like like-minded like people. Yeah. And that, um, what a feeling. 
brilliant. Yeah, yeah, and people have come from all over today. You're from Scotland, I met some from Wales as well. Yeah, I mean, it's really. America, Canada, Australia. There's people from so the other side of the world turned out today. Uh, France, a lot of French are over as well. Um, because this is huge. And at the time it's now, and we need to make a stand to make a change. Uh, it can't go on any longer. It's been a really calm march so far. Not too much singing, not very hostile. It's quite like a somber mood, I'd say. But people are still waving the flags. I think it also. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have like I, I. If I was in the UK, I would have a problem with because of the size. You know what I'm saying? This like America is huge. Like just the size of the UK and like 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 in the amount of people being let in or or being looked. Let in and no nothing being done about the people who are not who are coming like and don't who are not doing the proper protocols and stuff. You know what I'm saying? If if people are there and they've done the right things to get there, cool. You know what I'm saying? I do kind of agree with that. Like, uh, like uh, man, it's just a lot of people in there going from one place to another place, taking advantage of. Whatever the government has got to offer, which is a common thing. You know, the people in the UK, the national, the people from the UK do that, man. I've watched enough Benefit Street to know that there's people there that are taking advantage of the government. And now the rest of the world knows and they're, they're climbing on the boat as well to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean... It's based on the kind of people that are actually here today. A lot of families. Uh, Don't hate the player, hate the game. A lot of elderly, young people. So, yeah, we're walking all the way to Whitechapel. And apparently there's going to be some stages there. And we'll see what's going on. Love your channel, buddy. Yeah, all right. Do you guys want to say a few words? Oh, yeah. It's my first time, mate, so I'm just soaking it up. <laughs> yeah. so, well, what, what's your reason for coming today? Reason for coming? It's just... Uh, to tier Starmer, yeah. uh, immigration, treating everyone the same, cost of living, just the country being disarray really, it's just yeah. not listening to us, telling us all the same brush, we're not right wing, we're yeah. just concerned, we're parents, you know, grandparents, we just, just want, we just want to thank You got to remember the government is a very slow moving thing, so even if they are doing something, it's going to take a minute. For anything to be implemented, you know what I'm saying? This person got to be greased up. That person got to be greased up. It's got to move from here to here to here to here to here. To, it's, it's a very slow moving thing. Fairness and clarity. Yeah. In the day. Yeah. People would say that, you know, people are blaming illegal migrants for the issues in England at the minute, but would you say it's more to the government? It's more the government. I mean, that, that's one of the issues, you know, we can't, we can't just lump all on that. And I feel like it's definitely the government. It's just immigration is such a huge thing. It's being focused on. It's being scapegoated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not fair, but, but yeah, of course. But in, 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 in what I see things, we always be treated the same. Yeah. We're all the same. Right. You know, and when people are benefiting more than others and we're struggling, it's, it causes this anger, this, these issues, you know. It's, uh, so I'm just trying to find the words. Yeah, so. no, but like, I feel like in the minute we live in this kind of like X Factor society, whoever has the worst sub story gets, uh, gets the first, first dibs at things. It is, but every, every time a government gets in. That's a good way to put it, that's true. Whoever writes the first headline gets, most people believe. Is that what he said? Every so every election, it's we, we do this, we do that, we do what you say, we're listening, and they never follow through. Yeah, it's I told y'all though. Remember, I said that <laughs> this is this is every time it's election season and they and they want to get voted for, they come in, they make promises, they they say they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that, and they never do it. I never. If you pay attention to my videos, when politicians and people of power get on the screen, I always say like, "Bro, you just trying to sound good." It's cap. I don't believe you. I don't believe a word that's coming out of your mouth. Yeah. It's basically the opposite. And we're just sick of it. We're just sick of it. I, mean, I have an 11-year-old daughter. I worry about the future for her. I worry about the cost of living. I mean, trying to buy somewhere. I mean, just buying food. Just, Christ, just everyday things that are normal. Yeah. That are becoming now, uh, what's the word? 
Has a novelty, you know. It, it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be. I remember when eggs were thing twelve dollars. So disconnected to the people. Yeah. You know, they just they just do not understand, or, or, or it seems they just don't care. But do you think a protest like this today will send a message to the government if there was one? I hope so. I hope so. My attitude in the past has been, why bother? Because nothing changes. Yeah, yeah, but that's then, kind of been my but thing then, as well. What right have I got to complain if I don't come out and do something? Yeah. You know, I'm not here just for legal I'm not gonna lie. That'd be my attitude about certain things. Like, why bother? Nothing will change. But he made a good point. I can't complain if I ain't outside. Not right here, just be, just just because of one or two reasons. It's 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 across the board. Yeah, and I think most of us are as well. Yeah, and people would say that this, this side, the big like Tommy Robinson supporters, racist, far right. What have you got to say oh, to that? It's, 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 so, it, it's just a way of shutting the argument down. The word racist doesn't mean nothing anymore, and it's it, and, it, and it's it, it's sad because real racism, and real issues, and real problems are being overlooked, ignored. Because people roll their eyes. Roll. Yeah, no cap. People have really, I mean, it did like weaponize the word. It was already a crazy word, but it's like super weaponized now. You could be doing anything and somebody going to call you it. <laughs> that is crazy. I, I do agree. It is. It's weaponized heavily. Oh, their eyes now when they hear these things. Yeah. They're not interested anymore. It's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And it's not right. That's not right. Yeah. So, and do you think, yeah. and do you think today will, do you think today will stay quite peaceful? Do you reckon? Oh, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I mean, this is my first time. So, but I mean, from what I've seen in the past, yeah. I mean, I, I, I <laughs> there are always antagonisers, you know. But um, we're here to keep an eye on it. Any, any, anyone who comes out of line, you know, just have a word. Just all contact stewards. Just yeah. we don't want any trouble. It's not about that. We're not here to start a fight. Don't want to fight. Just want to peacefully protest and show that we're not happy and we want change. Okay, so as you can see, the police are just on this side, just kind of cordoning off the roads, making sure the public doesn't intervene in the protest. But yeah, it seems like we're at the main part now. It's been really masses. calm, not, not too much singing. Obviously, there's going to be chance for Tommy Robinson, which you've heard. We're just outside Westminster Abbey, as you can see here. Yeah. As we're walking, we'll go, go past quite a few famous landmarks as we're going through London. Hello. <laughs> I watch you all the time. Oh, awesome, awesome. What, what, what's the reason for coming today? Hey, this is superb motion. This is the superb underlying motion in the video. <laughs> this is great motion. <laughs> this is a good feeling, though. It got to be. You know what I'm saying? Low-key, Wesley sent me his first video like this. First video he ever did like this. And I didn't see it. I didn't even see the message. I got so many DMs. I didn't see the message. And when he, like, he started, you know, it's a shame, <laughs> honestly. I wish I would have seen his first message. But I finally, I, like, I DM'd him and I seen that he sent me it. I was like, dang. He was like, this is my first video. Can you do me? I was like, wow. Full circle, man. He deserves it. Bro, been putting in work. He been grinding. Salute. Hey. Um, I'm here for my great grandson, really. Yeah. Because I don't want him having to do this. He's o he's only eight months old. Sure. There's a lot of concerned parents, grandparents these days. Yeah. What do you think? All the way from Wales. Really, all the way from Wales. Yeah. What What do you think is the reason for the fear at the minute, or you know, just the kind of discontent with people? I just don't think there's the scales are really weighed. You know, I don't think the level. I think that the British people are getting walked over. There's so many white homeless old people in Liverpool, mm. you know, in Manchester, the ones that have lost their homes, they're getting nothing. They're in rags, but the asylum seekers aren't. We, do, we need immigration, but we don't need an army of men coming over, you yeah. know, what's going to go on. And when, when you talk about immigration, you're on about like illegal immigration. No, I'm on about we need, we need legal immigration for doctors. Yeah, of course. And, you know, all the skilled people, but not what's happening. Right, yeah. It's not fair, you know. You're talking about the boats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's being men, mm. mostly men every you day. You think they're like economic migrants or? No, I think they're soldiers. I think they're really? soldiers. Really? Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. I do. Wow. Yeah. And they're all 15. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're all 15. Yeah. With beards and grey hair, but they're 15. So yeah, I'm here to stop what's going on. Okay. How can we how can we stop the boats at the minute? <laughs> She's talking about falsified documentation where they saying they're 15 because I, I don't know. I'm not. Let me know in the comments. Saying no or going to Dover yeah. and linking up 
in Dover and stopping them mm. rather than this let's go to Dover let's stop them properly yeah you know it's not fair is it our people are getting nothing nothing the immigrants get everything stop the Germans selling the boats to them oh there's that what's doing it yeah. I didn't know that no it's, it's wrong you can't, don't listen to everybody man there's got to be some type of OCG who's profiting off moving people from one place to another place. Just like in Colombia or Texas or, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's somebody who's profiting off of this, making it a million dollar industry. It don't matter who supplies, they're going to get it. So if there was a message today, what, what kind of message is this sending? Um... This is sending a message to the mainstream. Start getting it right, start telling the truth because it's lads like you and men like you and women that are telling the truth on YouTube. They're telling the truth like it is. And we're all here because we're all, we're all awake. That's true, mainstream media has lost its... They've lost its morals. <laughs> they do be straight up. Some of them headlines be straight cap and I'd be like, dang, really? We've all. I stopped watching the news and reading the paper a long time ago. So. Woke up to what's going on. There's loads still out there that aren't awake. So maybe this will wake them up a little bit. And it's for Tommy as well. Tommy, you know what I mean? Puts his life on the line every time he goes on the streets. Yeah, it seems like freedom of speech at the minute is under attack. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's not getting reports. So it's, so it's just going on and on. And the illegal ones, the bad ones, they're just doing what they like. I've seen it everywhere. Not getting reported only by you and other people like you, which I thank you for. Okay, guys, so we made it to the main area where this protest is happening. And a couple months ago, this was the exact place where I got arrested, literally just across this, this patch of grass. We started from Big Ben last time, made our way down Downing Street, where we eventually got kettled in and that's where this channel basically started and from there I've been doing these kind of videos and before this even started I never actually had been to a protest before so I don't think they really work to be fair but it's all about giving people a voice and that's what we're doing they don't work <coughs> doing we look here we got the police vans just down this road I wonder if they'll drive down later on this afternoon maybe nearer towards the end of end of today's protest but They've got a huge stage here, live music, all that kind of This is beautiful over here. The architect, the architectural, you know, I never can get the word right when I'm trying to explain architect, but that stuff is nice. <laughs> stuff, they've blocked off the whole road. Usually this would be filled with tourists, but today it's filled with English patriots under the banner of United Kingdom, they say. But let's see if we can talk to more people and see why they're here. I think the people of Britain have had enough, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, we need to stand up. There's, if you look around, there's men, well, predominantly men, but we've got women, children, we've got babies, lots of women here. Yeah. And we're not far right, we're not extremists, we're not fascists, we just fed... I hear a lot of people keep saying, oh, they're not helping our own, we're not helping our own. But just like in America, our own have ruined it for themselves let's keep it a buck like uh, there's some there's a lot of bad apples in our own who are down bad homeless doing all of this stuff like on, on drugs taking advantage of the government taking advantage of the system who have ruined it for the people who really need help you know what i'm saying and it's a shame that they get bunched into it but you know just like for this for being called the far right there's a few people who doing the most but all everybody gets called the far right and there's a few people there's a few homeless people it's probably a a small percent that just take advantage and i i really down bad but everybody gets the label that's how it works with everything up. We're seeing our country run the way it's being run. This country's turned to shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Obviously, we need our voices heard. We need it for this man. And us. You know what I mean? We need Britain, we need Britain to be great again. Yeah. How, how do you think that can happen? Bye.
The government beat you know I mean? Keir Starmer's wanker. Do you know what I mean? I mean? At the end of the day, him and government is just turning this country yeah, to shit. Well, what could the government do? There's so many things that's going on at the minute. The government can do is listen to, to listen, listen to Tommy, listen to us, listen to the people of this country, you know what I mean? And just get this country back to how it was. Yeah. Years, you know what I mean? Years ago when we were kids, the country was great. Over, over 15, 20 years, this country's just gone downhill. It came in for Tommy, but it's, it's bigger than Tommy Robinson. Yeah, would you say majority of the people here are just Tommy Robinson fans or? Uh, they're, they're, these are proper patriotic people. Cap. That's Cap. Good Cap, but it's Cap. A lot of people are fans who just strictly listen to Tommy and nobody else. Would you know Tommy be saying some some stuff and he'd be saying some crazy stuff, but, you know. Hey, Robinson is just the, the lion that sparked the fire in the hearts. He's on the people. They're not on me. He stands for the people. Is that what they're doing? Who the fool you think? You gladiator? You think you Mel Gibson? Wait, who's playing Gladiator? Hey Siri. Yeah, it's all people. Uh huh. My bad, Russell Crowe. You think you Russell Crowe? This a hard. Ma Where do you even get this from? My name is Tommy. All right. We need at the minute a voice, and I guess oh, is that why people resonate. Him so much. Well, basically, nobody else is doing it. The government's not doing it. They're taking the money. But they're not doing nothing. They don't care about the people. They just want the money. Do you think after today the government will be listening to the people? Any messages that are being said? <laughs> Who? The government? Who are they? See, it's only cool. What all? Alright. Government. The government. Who are they? Say it's only cool what owns our f government, what owns all the f***ing money, what's putting all its people in power above Keir Starmer. He can't fucking read a book, mate. You think he's in charge of anything? It is he got a satanic bloodline what's f controlling everything, putting their people in power. And they have done for years. Now, we we'll wake up to it. We know the enemy. They've shown the f***ing cards. Wake up to it or you're fucked, basically. Who are we kind of protesting against today? What, what was he talking about? <laughs> What is, the, is he talking about the Illuminati? Uh, 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 I ain't gonna say it all as one word, but was he talking about that? Starmer. Yeah. Starmer, mate. What's he done? Why ain't he done? I mean, look what he's doing to the old people. Come on. I mean, they fought in the war for what? For what, mate? For this? If we are not treated better in our own country, yeah. there will be problems in the future. Yeah, I mean, you've seen stuff like the winter fuel allowance being taken away. What's, what winter sort of fuel allowance, like to see? Winter fuel allowance being taken I think the government set up Kia Starmer. He, they knew this was coming, they seen it was coming, and they put him in office and scapegoated him. He's just taking the grunt of this. Anybody that was in office during this time period would have been taking the grunt. It's not just him. In a way, the pension have, have been hit left, right, and center. Now what Keir Starmer is... But they've been getting hit before him, though. They've been getting hit before him. He's just currently at in office when it's at its peak. <laughs> saying, he's saying they're going to attack uh, the working class uh, won't suffer. As long as you've got no savings. Increasingly difficult for lower to enter middle and middle to enter higher class. Yeah. And that's what people are angry about. We feel that our hard work and our, our effort is not being rewarded. Yeah. And the taxes and the policies of the government are pushing us back yeah. down. So do you reckon this is, this is more of a, like an economic issue, like a class issue, would you say? Yeah, well, we, need to do, we do need to go back to kinganism. What is it called? I just watched a video on this, man. But now we in a we in a current state where free all man for himself, man. Whoever has the best ideas, work hard for it, and you could be at the top solely with no push, no help. It's rough out here, man. Massively, I think people are very frustrated that their pounds not going where as far as it did. Uh, food shops are more expensive, rent's gone up, interest rates gone up, things are tough for normal working people. This is a world problem though. This is going across around the world. The world is effed up. But if you've got rent or a mortgage, it's all right for people that own three, four properties. But for normal people that work and earn, very, very difficult. I've worked all my life. You know what you do? Start an LLC. That's it. It's, it's just start an LLC. Hopefully you ain't got no felonies. Hopefully you've never had a bankruptcy. Start an LLC. 
get you some business funding, go into a bank, tell them your plan, write a diagram out, get you some business funding, and go buy some property. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's doable. If the bank will give you that money and you can start an LLC, I know it takes money to start an LLC, but you know, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm currently in the midst of doing all of this now. I have my LLC. I've had an LLC for seven years, but I'm first. I'm actually starting to use it now because I can see the gap being created, and it's very clear. Like, it's very clear, and I ain't going to be a part of it, buddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm working on getting some funding and doing this, that, and the third with it, and you know what I'm saying? It's, gonna, it's very possible. I've had people around me started with terrible personal credit and get $25,000. Like, oh, okay, well, my credit is, is decent, so let me see what I can go get. Let's really go buy something. I left school on, on the Friday. I went to work on the Monday, and I worked till I was 60 years old. I was over That's unfortunate. I retire early. I've got a bit of savings. So I'm going to suffer. I'm going to be punished for that because I worked hard all my life. I've always been working class. I've been a blue collar worker. I've always worked all hard all my life. I was meant to get uh, mine. I was meant to get mine this year, and they took it off me. And I ain't got loads of money or anything like that. And and so we work. That sucks. So we work all our lives, and if we got a bit of savings, if you got a couple of shares, and the description of working class people might be people that don't get their clothes paid for. Yeah. Or their glasses, yeah. or get free tickets to concerts and all that, you yeah. know. And, while and taking it, 300 quid off old people, you know. Exactly, exactly. Now they'll take it off of the old people who are going to suffer this winter. And when the when the body count starts to mount up, how's he going to answer that? They're not benefiting the common English man. They don't care about the English people anymore. My dad's going to lose his pension, and he worked hard his whole life. His pension's going to be gone because Keir Starmer doesn't care about Britain, and it's it's like, it's like they're doing it on. Par it's like they want Britain to be Man, we start hearing about this in, in America, at least. I can only speak from my standpoint. I start hearing about pension not being a thing 15 years ago. 15 years ago. <clears throat> and that that alone, for my generation, it, 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 had a, it had a reaction. I'm not working. I'm not doing a regular job anymore because there's no point when I get older. That whole, oh, work your whole life and retire at 60 when you frail and you really can't do nothing and, and, and hope that you get a pension. No, no, no. We're done. <laughs> My generation, 15 years ago, we heard about that. And it, maybe 20. I was done at that point. Let me get a job real quick. Let me have fun. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got a retirement saving. It sounds bogus. Withdraw it. Take the penalty and, and do what I'm going to do with it. And you know what? I wish I had the knowledge that I have now when I withdrew. Because you in America, I don't know if it's the same out there, man. When I was working in the hotel, you can go into your 401k and you can play with it. It's like stocks. You know what I'm saying? You can move this money. You can you can see the trends. You can see what's going on. And I made a killing out doing that. And I withdrew all my money and played around with it. I wish I would have had the knowledge I have now and I would have did something not better with it. But but the whole thing of going to work and, and putting that money 60 years, like, no, nah, brother, I'd rather get life insurance, put it in an annuity or, or get an interest bearing life insurance plan and, and work my life insurance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather do that. Like, there's other ways. Like, I'm not I, this it's not happening to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's why I got life insurance now. Because if I die, my everybody going to be good. I'm going to set it up in such a way that everybody going to be good for generations. You know what I'm saying? Life insurance can change your life forever. I'm, I don't know how we got into that. But I know at 60, it's a little bit harder to get some life insurance. But if you my age, if you 30s, 20s, get you some life insurance. Go to whoever you need to get it. Pay that week monthly. Hopefully, you can get one that works for you. You know what I'm saying? I forget what it's called. My girl works in life insurance, so she's been really, even before I, I was with her, like I knew all about it. You know, uh, it's 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 really the safest bet at this point. If you're trying to get a a pension or do any of that type energy or something that 
seems the same as that. Just go get you an. Uh, 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 let me ask her. Hold on. Let me see. Yes, I got it. It's called an IUL Index Universal Life Policy. You don't have to start a lot of money with it. It never loses money in the market like like your 401k. Like I just said, it's like stocks and bucks, stocks in there. You can lose it. You can gain it. It never lo- You can start it with 100000 whatever you got. You can put it in there, and it's going to gain money on an index. So it's a safer bet. You know what I'm saying? Than, than letting the government snatch your money. You, it just has to be the setup right. You have to have an agent that'll get you right. That's that's as, that's as simple as that. I'm not putting my, I'm not banking on the government to do anything for me. You know, simple. Destroyed and fallen. They want it gone. I don't know why, but it's very corrupt. What's going on? Keir Starmer does not care about the common English man. He seems to care more about these illegals coming on boats and his madness. It's crazy. The world, Britain's gone mad. It's tyranny. It is tyranny. Stop the hip boats. We want immigration, not people just walking straight into the country, getting everything. There's people I know who are suffering who can't claim, can't get the kids into school. You know, it's everything. It's what the government are trying to do to us. Yeah. So in us. Could this flag? Bangladesh parents, Irish parents, mate, an Englishman. Racism, is it? No. As much as people call it a kind of a racist march and people are blaming race, this is more economical no, for you guys. Not racist at all. It's it's not only economical, but you'll see different races. Yeah, predominantly white white British people, because we are still at the moment a predominantly white British country. But so yes, um, it's not a racist march. There's no race involved. I've been talking to people from all walks of life today, and I don't treat anybody differently from anybody else. The, and I'll tell you, it might be controversial. The problem in this country, and what is going to happen in the future, is the Muslim takeover of this country. And no one will use that word. It's going to be an Islamic takeover because they are treated different to us if anyone, and they will get if in anyone, power. If anyone, a black person or Asian person, was getting attacked here, every one of these people would stick up for them. It's nothing to do with racism or anything like no, that. It's, it's to, to do, do with, with religion and assimilating into this country. Those people coming with a different kind of ideology and they want to change in things in UK. And the government don't do anything about it. They chanting, chanting against the British values. That's why it, that's a problem. And why do you think like people believe the culture is kind of under attack at the minute? Because it is. You just have to look and be there and live yeah. and, and live it. Something that was created for hundreds of thousands of years is now being disgraced. And all these people here today, they care about it. They want to stand up. This is the land of hope and glory. And we, we can't. This is why I need to watch that three hour video because in America, when when people get to saying, oh, make, do this, do that, things that were built in America. Whoa! <laughs> in America, for me, it's a slow down, buddy. You know where who this, who back this was built on and stole from? Slow it up. Slow it up. <laughs> but like in the UK, it's different. It, not that everything happened that way, I, I, I assume. So I'm going to watch this three hour video, maybe tomorrow. I got to watch it. I got to know everything. <laughs> it's time. And then the parish. Muslims live by the law of the Quran. It's not just a, uh, like a Bible. It's a lifestyle. And they live to that lifestyle, which means they will never assimilate. They will never integrate. But is it, is it fair to blame cultures and ideologies for, for things that happen in society? Like, for example, in poor areas, there are just generally a lot of crime that does happen. Is that just like a product of the environment sometimes? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. There is, but that is because they are always grouped together. But then in a lot of cultures, they want to be grouped together. Uh, I've heard of instances where they've hounded people that have lived in houses for many years, but they've hounded them out of those houses so their families can go in and their friends can go in. So a lot of things go on. And I understand people want to live together, but the way I look upon it is if you come to this country, I've got nothing against immigration, yeah. but you've got to assimilate and live to our laws of this country, get children mixing first at school age now, so they go out and play, they play together, but it doesn't happen at this moment. Sikhs, Hindus, 
Not a problem. There's, there's no, no problem there at all. They mix, they're not trying to come in and take over the country. But the, the Quran says, if you can't win in war, move in, outbreed, get into places of power. When you're in those places of power, start to take over. And I'm afraid that is true, but nobody will stand up and say, See me, I'm too ignorant about the subject to, to know. I don't know nothing about the Quran. Does it say that? Say that. Hi guys, we're walking through this crowd here. Yeah, look at the numbers. So many today. Have a look. And yeah, they're playing some some sort of documentary. That's the noise you can hear. Really, really loud. I met you at the last one. What's your visa? For, what's your visa for coming today? Same as last time. It's worse now. It got so awful. Peter and his family dead. It got so sad, man. Like Peter Lynch and all. Like I know there's a fun. There's sort of money and all through it. Like and that's fantastic. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of people. Are spoken to today they, they feel quite let down by the government is, is that kind of same, same as you? Time, no, look at it you know what i mean i'm northern ireland so i'm coming over here again and this is look at the many people here at once more like we're not wrong there's something going on here lads so yeah just need to get over it's well known that the ordinary and the republic of ireland don't get on but one thing that we've actually united about is it's mass legal immigration stuff like you know i always say being british about english scottish welsh northern irish even the irish too um we all fight amongst ourselves but when a push comes to shove world war ii world war one we all get together we're all in the same boat you know what i mean we just need to really really get together and we need someone in northern ireland who can lead us there same. as you should <laughs> Like every it's like a family when you fighting with your family it's cool it's a family thing but when an outsider comes it's like bro what <laughs> we are we all united we're uniting this kingdom that's the main aim yeah and what do you hope happens after today hopefully just everybody can go home safely honestly pray to god just yeah. traveling mercies for everybody my bad, I was paused. I said, this reaction is 47 minutes long so far. We're only 27 minutes through the video. It's these type videos, though. You gotta pause. You gotta say what you gotta say. But keep in mind, I'm only replying to specific incidents, not the whole. I'm only replying to what people say, not the whole of the... Beautiful, mate, honestly, and yeah, yourself as well, voice. and all the people around, because you don't know what can happen around here. It's quite dodgy, it's like something yeah. to be fair, mate. Yeah, and you never know what the police can oh, do, especially... This is honestly the safest I've ever felt. Literally. Honestly. So for the word, like, come, next one, come. Don't listen to Tommy Robinson says, Tommy Robinson says that. No, he's not. Listen, to, look at the real world. Please. So they create a different story. They turn everyone's attention to their imaginary monster before right. The fictional dragon they protect. Is this silenced? The documentary silence? Into slight. So yeah, as you can see, it's Keep in mind, I reacted to that. It's on Patreon, I think. And it's on Twitter. It's on Twitter for free, my Twitter. To tip it down, classic London English weather. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head down to the other side and try to speak to some of them. Because yeah, you can't really hear me talking. There's a lot of big speaker, but they've just been playing a lot of documentaries from Tommy Robinson. But yeah, have a look at the crowds here. Big turnout. Let's go speak to the other side. <laughs> it's not hit the hour yet, but for some reason they keep playing these church bells. Not That's crazy. <laughs> Video. Yeah, that's funny. Anyway. It's not hit the hour yet, but for some reason they keep playing these church bells. It's not really a, a common thing. I think it's maybe a tactic by someone to try silence the protest, which is a bit nuts if you think about it. Yeah, that's what you can hear here. Yeah, it's non-stop. I'll just those different protests. Hi guys, so it's completely blocked off trying to get through but 
seems like I'm able to go there. Oh. Gotta turn the camera and walk oh, bloody hell. Oh, this absolute trick trying to get to the other side just to chat to them. But yeah, look at all the police officers. They're definitely uh, well protected. So, you're going to have to walk the long way around. Bloody hell. This. I don't know. I've just picked it up, mate. Oh, did you? I don't believe in it. Right, right. What do you think of it? The far right. He's right. The far right are complete twats. Right. Idiots. They have what? no idea about anything. They just blame everyone for their failings. Why, why do you think they're always labelled as racist and that kind of because they are. narrative? Because they are racist. What, what in particular against a particular group? Because they're or? racist. Because they blame everybody that's not from their country for all their fact that they haven't succeeded in life. Yeah. There's also argue maybe about governments to, you know... I do be feeling like that with certain people over there because the message is so lost. There is a lot of people over there on that side, and I'll use this sparingly. Uh, they do be scapegoat. They use everybody. For, they make excuses. Like they, you are clearly not taking advantage of what was presented to you throughout your life. But now, at the age of forty-five, forty-five homeless beer in your hand needle in your arm you got the nerve you know what i'm saying some of them not all now they yeah, help the working class communities that and they're all they're all immigrants know who i'm talking about y'all be seeing them and some more working class than anybody in this country mm. right. believe me i know i live in wolverhampton have you been to wolverhampton i've been to, to wolverhampton mate that's a properly integrated properly hard working society yeah football team is proper terrible it's not full of people who are basically trying to blame everybody else on the country for their own failings. Right, but why do you think they have such a big following? Oh, they don't have a big following. Have you seen how many police here compared to the number of people? I, I saw, I they saw don't have a big following. You should have been to the, uh, Wolverhampton when the EDL turned up. There was about 20 of them. There was about millions of us. But they'd also say that maybe freedom of speech is under threat. Free, they no, freedom of speech, absolutely. If you speak shit, that's fine. People know that you speak shit. Mm. People are clever enough to know that what you're speaking is crap. Fine. Everyone should be allowed to say whatever they like. Yeah. Because the audience... And I think that's why some of them... The agree audience are more intelligent right. than the people speaking it. But I think that's why some actually agree with Tommy Robinson and kind of side of him oh, as well. well not. Uh, this guy's really stirring up some people's <laughs> feelings. I hear it. I'll talk about Tommy Robinson. He's one idiot, one bigoted knob end. He's not even called Tommy Robinson. It's not his name. Call him by his real name. I don't know what it is, but it's not Tommy Robinson, is it? Yeah. So why did he change his name to Tommy Robinson? Ask that question. But what, what is this? What is this green and white and red flag here? I have no idea. You exactly. tell me. I don't know either. <laughs> so what are they? Why are they parading this flag around with the union flag? I don't know. Let's go and ask some. It's a normal day in London. All sorts of people out and about. It's the Iranian flag. The Iranian the flag of Iran. But not the present Iranian no, flag. That's, that's, no. that's the Allah Akbar warmongers. Right. So that's so that's the. What we need. Islamic what we need Republic. is a nuclear war between Iran and Israel. And why? Look at this guy, bro. Shut up. That's, so that's the. What we need. Islamic what we need Republic. is a nuclear war between Iran and Israel, and wipe them all off the Middle East. Then there'll be peace. Yeah. I knew when I seen a full wool outfit, wool hat, wool undershirt, wool jacket, that he was going to say something dumb. He's too warm. His brain is too warm. The Shah of Iran that used to basically, and it was a bit like pre-revolutionary France. No, but he yeah. had a secret police called Savak who yeah. would kill anyone. Yeah. So Savak. It's probably not as it good has as a long yeah. history, not just a... Just, just Zoroastrian. Like. True religion of Iran, not Islam. Okay, there we go. Fighting, fighting about flags, the usual kind of stuff you get here. He wasn't too happy about the Iranian flag being flew. But yeah, it's kind of mingled in with Israel flags and Union Jacks. But I'm trying to go into the main part of this protest. It's in Trafalgar Square, I think, in here. If any nuclear weapon is fired anywhere, it's World War III. It's, it's up for everybody. Yeah, I have no idea. Just kind of wandering around, but. 
So don't listen to War Hat Man. Yeah, it seems like we're going down memory lane today, visiting all the places where the protest originally started. And by the way, guys, it is a weekend, so you're going to have loads of tourists here as well. So, yeah, it's funny how these protests always happen just during a normal day. And people, like, passing by, sometimes just have no idea what's going on. They come to London and it turns unhinged. So here we have uh, a classic, a classic beggar. Part of the Romanian gangs probably got kicked out of Park Lane. Yeah, the usual. You're a sign fascist, fuck off. <laughs> okay, what, what, what kind of message today? Is that the only message? It's short and sweet. Yeah. It's yeah. A bit rude, but yeah. <laughs> Is that it's the... To the point, yeah. yeah. I'm very surprised that. The... Okay, never mind. Yeah, is that how much, is it kind of like a hatred, I guess, to, is it, is it towards the far right? Who are the fascists? The far right? Yeah. Because I'm a, a Polish uh, Jew, Yeah. Um, we've had issues with the Nazi regime in the 1930s and yeah. uh, 1970s, you've got the National Front and yeah, yeah. Atomic Robinson now. I feel like England is sleepwalking into fascism and that really concerns me. What do you reckon is causing the fascism? Um, I think a lot of it is to do with politicians that are trying to push culture wars onto people okay. to take the blame away from themselves, to take it away from the, the um, upper class. Yeah. Uh, I can agree with that. Somebody's creep building somebody and turning people against each other. Because um, then if you're fighting amongst yourself and you're not organizing, you're not united among... Mm -hmm. Talk about it, ma'am. ...the people. I'm from the area where uh, I remember the National Front in the 1970s. They practically try to destroy communities. Yeah. But we're not in the 1970s anymore though. Like, what, what are we seeing in 2024? What do you think like... It, it, with, it, with Tommy Robinson, he's trying to recreate that uh, 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 conditions yeah. again. Okay. It's set community against other communities, fight against right. other fights. I think the far right, as they say, would also be quite discontented themselves, just like the way the country's run and mm. the economy. So I feel like there are frustrations on both sides. Would you agree with that? Or? Um, well, the frustrations, I agree, are on both sides, but I feel like their frustrations are misdirected. Okay. I feel like so. they're directed um, towards refugees, towards immigrants, mm. because that's what politicians, right-wing politicians, have been trying to get them to do, to get them to believe that it's their fault that they're in that position and not the upper class who have the power and the control. In London, in one of the most multicultural cities in the world, we have to suffer the damage and the division caused by far-right movements. Everyone of every colour, creed, religion, ability lives and works in this city and we welcome them in and people are committed to push them back and undermining them. And we're here to say no more to that. Yeah. I mean, some people might be against yeah, multiculturalism. I've heard also people talk about illegal migrants coming on the boat. Yeah, see, <clears throat> he's probably going to say we're against illegals, illegal, illegal stuff too. But the other side is saying they're all for people who, this is what he said, coming in, adding to the community, adding to the, adding some value, uh, doing everything the right way. And that's what I'll be thinking, like some of the stuff y'all be saying, y'all be on the same page. It's just. What do you have to say to that? The idea of an illegal migrant is a complete fallacy. If you are running from your home because it is war-torn, because you are not welcome there, because you are being put upon and killed and discriminated against, and you come to somewhere that you think might be safe, risking your life... See, now some of this... I don't... I... I... I but there's a group of people coming from France who is, who is offering who is offering safe haven they're ripping up right this is what i heard they're ripping up their passports and they're and they're, they're they're taking that trip again and pretending like they're still coming from that original place not friends the original place to get the benefits those are the ones those are the situations that are being labeled illegal and 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 this that and the third and things of that nature but they they're also getting bunched in with what he's talking about which is i mean unfair i would say but it is what it is that's, that's what's happening and that's people are forgetting that that this is happening like these are 
fighting age men finessing the system, getting all they can out of France. Then when the language barrier becomes too much, they, you know, get rid of the documents and slide to somewhere else. You know, that's finesse. The idea that you were turned away because you are illegal is anti-human. Their kind of argument is right. that they're not being put first in terms of illegal migrants who are coming in, who are put in like hotels. Just an illegal migrant. Just someone who has to come into the country without a visa. Yeah. Do you know there's no there's no legal pathways to get into the UK? Yeah, yeah. And so when they're in that desperate situation, they have no other choice than to do that. You wouldn't put yourself in a tiny little dinghy yeah. and go across the ocean unless you were that desperate to do that. Yes, there are people. That's a naive thought process, though. Yes, they are. They're like once again, there are people who are desperate, who are doing that. But there are also people who are doing that and that are not in need, who are safe already in France or in other places, who are still taking that trip just to get the benefits that the UK is offering. Is she being naive in that all process, or is she just completely negating the fact that that's happening? You see what I'm saying? I, I disagree with a lot of stuff on both sides. Ain't nobody getting it. We all, I want to smoke with everybody at this point. I'm EBK. <laughs> People that try and gain this. Everybody can get it. <laughs> system. But the people who try and gain the system because their lives are in danger versus because they're inherently bad people far outstrip that percentage. That's true. But that small, pe that percentage. Negative always outweighs good in the media. You're always going to see the negativity first. Just like with this situation and these riots. But now the gatherings. like You only hear the bad. Because it's a headline. So you only go hear the bad in every situation. It all Like me reading comments. I always see the bad ones. I see the good ones. But I, I reply to a bad one. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on that. I want smoke, and then I'm blocking you. How do you, like, judge who is, who's actually fleeing war, though? Because surely every country is different. Absolutely every country is different. Every policy is different. But that's politics. That's every decision. People have different ideas about agriculture, about the banks. Yeah. Quick question. Why are you wearing your hat like this? No, it's bothering me. I really like your girl hair and her glasses. She got a lot going on. It's a W here. But... What is the point of a hat if it's not covering your forehead and your ears and you're not bald-headed? You clearly have like a... We're off subject. My fault. If you can't open your arms, it's one of the richest economies on the planet and try and put in a system with considered humanitarianism, then we're truly lost as a society. But, yeah, is it also England's responsibility to welcome them in as well? Absolutely there's a responsibility. If you look at the kind of GDP of any country across the world, Britain kind of thinks that because we're in an economic slump, we're somehow exempt from pulling our weight. We try and back out of economic ties with our neighbours and we think, oh, woe is us. If you open up the banks, if you take the money out of the top 1% and funnel it to the lowest people in our society, people that don't have anything to, to rely on to put their back up against the wall, you'll find very quickly that we will have the money to put these systems in place. Yeah, do you think this is more like an economic issue rather than, say, a cultural issue where people aren't integrated into society, as, as people like to say? It would be amazing to think that you could just kind of go this is that kind of issue this is that kind of issue economic issues are social issues they are racial issues unfortunately it's so intertwined with where the money is funneled to and who the money comes to that you can't separate those issues he mm, set him up wesley you set him up he ain't take the bait the other side was taking that bait there was this definitely there was definitely you know what i'm saying he, he he's still i don't know if we would call it beating around the bush or Issue. Economic issues are social issues. They are racial issues. Unfortunately, it's so intertwined with where the money is funneled to and who the money comes to that you can't separate those issues. Social issues are racial issues. Mm, he's putting it as all, as all one big issue. Are economic issues. So if there was a message today, what, what's the kind of message after today? Uh, free Palestine. Um, well, refugees are welcome. Um, fuck the far right. Yeah, yeah fuck the far right. Uh, united together, we'll never be defeated, you know? The racism! Okay, so here we have all the signs. So the big difference between the left and the right is that the right usually have Union Jacks, but here we have the 
the assignment to race some signs. Yeah. Hey guys, just documenting the event. What, what's your reason for coming today? I don't want to be on the camera. So oh, I thought you were looking. I'm sorry. Sorry, we're working. Okay. Probably. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh. Who, who makes all the signs? Like, do you like pay for all of them? Oh, just one. Second. Okay. Uh, I'm just wondering, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know? Do you know who makes all the signs? We do. Oh, you make them? Do you buy them? Like, who funds it? We do. Okay. Like, like, what well, from donation? Why are you so offended? This is your moment. <laughs> you know, like I feel like the um, not the far right, the other side are maybe just in London. Like oh, this video, just man, it's just been heard. Never mind. Let me. I feel like they're so used to being attacked on camera, like they feel, they're really like offensive, like they're really like defensive, ready to mm, calm down a little bit. Or something. No, our political, yeah, our political party membership dues oh, okay. paid for material. Right, right, right. What's, what's your party? Is it kind of like against like? Just party. Oh, okay, is that to do with like Labour or the government no. or just like your own independent? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. Just want to say a few words. No, no. All right, cool. Nice to meet you guys. I feel like it's a, it's a, it is a, like a, a thing when a camera is put in your face. But I feel like if it was a, a, a red X camera with 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 BBC logo crawl across the chest or CNN, it would. I don't know. Maybe they'd say more. Huh? A society where all are free from fear. Uh, excuse me. Uh, sorry to bother you. I'm just asking people how today went. Do you mind just asking a couple of questions? Yeah. So. What's your reason for coming today? My reason is um, for my um, what's called friends. I came here also to support my friend Quabina Davinish from Cardiff. Um, she's a pro-Palestinian also, and um, she um, has been charged as a terrorist. But she's not because um, she's been saying everything like correctly. Or what like let's say, what what is happening in Cardiff um, and like what is happening globally? She's just speaking truth on what this state is. Yeah. What, what's your feeling on free speech at the minute? It doesn't really matter what side you're on. It seems like England itself is getting suppressed with that. It is. I'm like for even like seeing it in like Wales also. Um, because I'm from Wales, like I'm seeing like people like I have the right to like have free speech and speak out. What, what? You don't even know him. You just seen a he's he's not even doing anything. What am I? You've never spoken to me before. Hey buddy, how you doing? Nice to meet you. I've been watching you on YouTube. Have you? Yeah. Doesn't matter. I think people see an independent journalism journalist with a camera and they just <laughs> they just completely just oh he's with the other side. No, he's getting both sides. What side do you want? What's your kind of view on free speech at the minute in England? Free speech, I think, is something we need to protect. Um, and that's exactly what we're doing, as well as other people in the city today. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've been watching your, your interviews and you going around and having yeah. a look and giving an insight into the other side, really. Yeah. Why, why do you think there is such a divide with free speech at the minute? Like, even on... See, she knows. It goes to both sides. Line. It doesn't matter if you're far right or far left. People are getting arrested for. People tend to get mad at the person doing the reactions or the person doing the, the videoing. Like, girl, I'm on both sides. I'm just asking the same questions to both sides. Oh, yeah. My opinion is opinionated for both sides. Anybody can get it. If you say something that I disagree with or agree with, I'm going. All sorts of them. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more the media. I think the media is a lot to blame. Right. Um, funded by really rich, um, and I think that's the position we're in. Yeah. I don't believe that anyone should be stopped protesting, but we should all be doing it peacefully so yeah. we can be heard. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're here for today. Yeah. I um, mean, you, men you mentioned the rich. Usually, the stand-up to racism are really against Tommy Robinson, but I wouldn't say he's a, a rich and wealthy man compared to the elites. Is that is that kind of like where the message gets lost, or is it just like a collective message? 
I think actually the whole country is on its knees and I think it's about time we all stood up yeah. for many, many issues, not just the one particularly for today. Stand up for racism is really important. I think it's something that we need to value as a country to make sure we've got diversity and inclusion. Yeah. Um, and that's something I'm proud of in this country. Yeah. It's the riots and the violence. And um, I watched your one in Middlesbrough where yeah. the lads, uh, uh, the children yeah. were going and smashing up cars. Smash yeah, this was crazy. They had nothing better to do up windows yeah. and actually that got out of control yeah. whereas if you believe in a peaceful movement you're likely to have more of a peaceful protest and yeah. that's exercising our right yeah, to do yeah you mentioned when i went to Middlesbrough, there were children and I, I think some of those kids don't know what far right is yeah. but like could you also argue that places where these things are happening are just really poor communities yeah, and under yeah, underdeveloped can. i work with children in care and that's something that's really important yeah. is to stop poverty in these communities okay. get back the youth centers get back the community oh, yeah. within each town Middlesbrough in particular is one that is really really struggling among many others and i think poverty makes people desperate which makes us fight and divide and conquer is a really really big part of what's brought us all here today yeah and you can even look at just general crime stats on google and you'll see it's different ethnicities causing these yeah. crimes why do you think say the muslim community are targeted at the minute for their ideologies they say uh, I think many communities are targeted, um, many across all sorts of ranges, but particularly the Muslim community. And again, I'd come back to the media and I'd come back to who's funding the media and what their, their purpose is for that. And usually divide and conquer distracts us from the very, very rich getting very, very much more wealthy. Uh -huh. It's a classic war tactic, man. Divide and conquer. <sighs> it's easier to take down somebody who's spread out and fighting each other than a unified in a unified group, you know? Um, and we're here having to stand up for people not to be attacked just from where they're from or their beliefs um, and as well I really strongly believe that everybody should have the right to protest yeah, um, exactly. and that's what we're exercising and so are other people on the other side too yeah, yeah. Um, but it's about being peaceful and yeah. getting our message across yeah it's all about being peaceful do you think there ever could be a day where both sides just protest just for the sake of against the government or yeah. for the sake of just being discontented with the way the country's yeah. run could that ever happen I think we need to do that I need to, uh, we need to find a way to come together but it's ne human nature to feel opposite sides and to be mm. against each other yeah. and fighting is our first thing on the person yeah. um, opposite to our, our I, belief. I went to the other one yeah. and I came to check this one. I guess you I mean the other, the other side or? Yeah, the other side, okay, like okay. the Big Bang side, the uh, right. fascist side. Right. Yeah, what do you make of it? Um, yeah, like uh, super lovely people on the other side, super lovely people on this side. I think they both got more in common with each other than maybe they want. Exactly. They really got a lot of common, <clears throat> but it's just the heart, the, like the bad stuff being shown in the media, which is spinning it. I believe. Every time I see Tommy Robinson, thank you. He turns his hate. And, uh, you've got a documentary event today. I like all the flowers you've got. Do you mind saying a few words? But yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, we don't speak. It's hard. Okay. Hard. <laughs> Why is it always a woman stopping the <laughs> like bro was far fine with speak all right um, what? I want to speak for two. Oh, I trust my sister. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, mate, yeah, oh, good news. Breaking yeah. news Park Lane the campus have left. Yeah. Uh, oh, the pool. <laughs> no, no. They've been evicted. Big brother's spoken. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, do you, what do you make of the protest today? Oh, good question. So I've been to both sides. Yeah. Uh, according to online sources, one arrest on the left. Okay. No arrest on the right. Okay, so one nil. It's not a football score, but I do think um, police done a very good job. Yeah, no, definitely. They've separated it, made it very hard for the people to. Uh, very separated. It's a big space in between. And then they're pl they're being pretty hands off too. Um, actually, uh, uh, fight or interact and I would say without Tommy there the right side's very um, passive I think yeah lethargic quiet yeah, it was quite yeah. Thing, wasn't it yeah here they've had more in-house fights between different groups here so okay. this the left side's been more lighter than the right right yeah that's the first I feel like the right side quote unquote is they're emotional um but they speak really well. Uh, there's a few people on on the on the left side, quote unquote, 
that they that they letting their emotions get the best of them. Oh, we don't want to speak. Well, whatever. Why are you out here? Go to go home. Go home. Why are you here? You want to you want your message to be heard. You want to be clear and concise, but you won't speak to the to, to the to media on the ground. You know what I'm saying? You're confusing mainstream media with with the uh, with the individual media who who's really trying to get your message across. You know, you can't. Do, I mean, you got to be open to speak. You got to be open to have a dialogue when the dialogue is presented to you or else you will be not heard <laughs> who you who because right now you're holding up signs but who's seeing your signs it's not, um, the only people that seeing your signs is the people that's on your side it's the people on the ground with these cameras with these mics with these channels with that are giving you the the voice the, the ability to actually be heard and i mean to do this oh no we're not speaking to the camera oh, well get go home <laughs> go home what a contradiction what a walking contradiction right. but yeah no we've seen no right here today so i feel like that's kind of set the tone for what today was about as well yeah i think um these speakers gone for too long that's my opinion <laughs> they should have a they should have like one hour max the weather's been not great it's not raining now, but that's rain, but yeah. I, I personally think if you want to see it kick off, now go on the right side. They've had a few beers, yeah. they're going to fight with each other. I mean, I saw a lot of signs today against Tommy Robinson. Now he's been remanded. What is next? Like, what, what is the kind of message or the way forward now? Has that, that was kind of the original message that, that I was hearing. So, well, of course, it's not the end. He's essentially martyred himself. Uh, there's going to be other people who take his place. There's going to be, there's a lot of other uh, far-right figureheads. Uh, also elements in the media and mainstream politics that of course is uh, really fostering these uh, far right views. Sorry, sir. Are you a journalist? YouTuber. Okay, yes, no, sir, sir. We're, we're high security, right? Yeah. We're just here to... Um... See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? On the other side, it's, it was not a problem. Like, You're what security? Right? Yeah. We're just here to... YouTuber, a journalist, yes. Right. Sir, we're, we're high security, right? Yeah. We're just here to, um... Oh, we're wow. just here to suck at people if necessary. Because you mean, please move up. Oh, right, yeah, we just have to this guy, yeah. No, I'm not absolutely, yeah. But, uh, See what I'm saying? When you let them emotions go and check and you get to being a Karen and, and, and the people on the ground that's trying to get your opinion amplified and you you just cut yourself off at the legs, like, shut the fuck up and let him do what he's doing. Like, God damn. Let, get, go put your emotions in check. Like, it, it ain't him. Yeah, man. <laughs> So we're doing the job, so... Uh, yeah, so I know with my group no, here, we're just finishing see, uploading yeah, the yeah, band, yeah, so... If that's all right, yeah? That's right, I'm not putting in trouble, mate. No, 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 no. Yeah? Right. You just move to one side, though, please. They've asked us to ask you. So. Oh, right, right, cool. I wasn't putting any problems, no, though, mate, no, yeah. No, 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 no. We've all just right. been asked, right? Cool. Asked by who? Do you want to walk up to there, mate? Just uh, finish yeah, interview? Sure, yeah, whatever. Cool. Come back a sec, I'll be right back. Oh, mate, fucking hell. Oh, so apparently there's an issue with uh, talking to me. That man is paying some sort of security. See what I'm saying? See how she, he called him back? Like, come on, man. It was all applied. They don't want him to speak to them. They, they, I don't. Says he doesn't want to chat. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that was weird. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I think this side is clearing up a bit. And people are gonna go home yeah but don't think he wants to do the interview all right fair enough and that's the bad look man <laughs> so yeah when the, when the other side openly talks and then you come over here and then you cut yourself off at the legs and won't let your side be heard by the people on the ground who can amplify your amplify your message like you you that's when it becomes one-sided like who like yeah, let's go back to the other side, maybe see them, see if there's still any uh, any more people about and just get the final kind of messages. 
Just like he's been over here the same amount of time, and 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 and, and the time that he's been over here has happened four times. So guys, we're just catching the end of this protest. I made it back to where Big Ben is, and as you can see, people are leaving. How was today, guys? Really good. Yeah. Really peaceful. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So as you saw, no, no arrests, no issues with the police at all. Hey, buddy, how, how was today? Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. Was brilliant. Any, any, any kick off? Cool. See, as you can see, a lot of people heading back now, but people came from far and wide, wide from Scotland, Wales, Ireland, and it sounds like a bit of a concert now, hearing some music. It's real like crazy when you when you pop out and you and the goal is to get both sides, but it's always very difficult to get one side's opinion. And then it gets and then it seems like oh man you're only covering one side. Well, listen, do you watch the videos? Do you not see me try? Like, like... I think it's meant to disperse around six p.m. It's about five now. Let's see what happens. Hey mate, how you doing? YouTube, yeah. <laughs> YouTube. Hey, how how was today, lads? Oh, good. Brilliant. I've watched you on YouTube a few times. Very but... respectful. A any any kicking off? No, no, no kicking no, off. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. behaved the same. Yeah. yeah, apparently there's been. We've had a brilliant day. Well, what, what do we rate the police today? Out of ten. They're not They've dealt with it pretty well. Yeah, They've yeah. kept it. Oh, well, keep up the good work. Cheers, mate. Thank I've you. I've been watching you. you a lot. Oh, oh wicked, awesome. Cheers, mate. Wicked, wicked. Yeah. Get a picture with you. Picture? Wow. Ah, <laughs> superb motion, Wes. <laughs> As you can tell, people are a bit more friendly to talk at the minute, so that's good. Maybe they had a few drinks. I'm telling you, man. Like, even on this. Hey buddy, how's it going? Don't be on. Oh yeah, yeah. How, yeah how'd you get on? How'd you get on oh, today? Absolutely. And I, I don't completely blame the other side. The, 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 the other side, they're just on the defense. They're on the defense, 100. percent They've been super defensive. But you know, you got to be open to how that dialogue, man. And you you can at least start the talk, and if you feel a vibe, then be walk away. But at that point, you tried. Great. And I'm pretty sure there are people out here who come out and made you feel that way, but you can't completely shut yourself off to the media when you're trying to get a message heard. Mm. Yeah. Great, great turn, eh? I, I was here a bit earlier. There's mainly just showing documentaries, I think, on the big screens, no? And a couple of speakers today. Yeah, the, the film was just the truth. Yeah. So for four or five years, I believe, to make. Just the truth, isn't it? You know, listen to it and... Um, Politicians listen to it properly. Yeah, what's your message for Keir Starmer after today? Oh, well, it wouldn't be Ed. <laughs> you might do, you might be watching. Get yourself in a quarry, go to the bottom of it and stay there. <laughs> wow. England, Ireland, Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Oh, the, dude, the Bangladesh dude from earlier. Man, we are united. Cheers, mate. Hey, I'm just there, man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what's your neck? Ah, uh, how are you, mate? What's your neck? Um, I was playing with children. Oh. Playing with children. Else. A little bit. So I fell off. Fell off a treehouse. I see you on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of it, mate. Proud yeah. to be English. Good, good. Awesome, mate. How's today? Very good. Very good, yeah. No trouble, nothing. It's peaceful. Peaceful protest. Yeah, it was, mate. Yeah, peaceful, yeah. Yeah, everything's good. Awesome, mate. All right. Take it easy, mate. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to make our way back to uh, what's it called, like Whitechapel, because that's come to this protest. This is that spot where I got arrested. Oh, yeah, wow. I see you at every protest. How, how was just dispersing? See if we can catch a few words from people. Uh, I, see, I see you at every protest. How, how was today? Today, one of the best. Today, I saw 100,000 Tommies here. That's the best thing. It seemed kind of like a somber mood. It wasn't as like rowdy as you've seen in previous ones. Why do you think it was? It's kind of different mood today. It was not different. It was people are more concerned because they are here today and they want to make sure that nothing goes wrong to belong the name of Tommy. So today people were more behaved. They always behave, but today they are careful. Yeah. And today there was no nobody here with the mask on, face covering. Yeah. So no, not many beers. Yeah. So it and was I, good. I think the police have a lot to do with that as well. That makes sense.
I don't think they tried to antagonize the crowd that we might have seen in previous ones, but... The, 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 the police are here for the reason. They, they were expecting people will do something wrong, but these people are not from the left side. They're from the right side, they did the well. Yeah, and what's your views at the minute of freedom of speech? Obviously, we've seen what's happening to Tommy Robinson. There's no, in this country, freedom of speech is only when you speak something. I feel like the left side, the people who did spoke speak, they made solid points. They made good points. But I'm I'm still upset that they like he got cut out like nobody with like four people like security time like come on I think I don't know lie you see something in the favor of the government or for the leftists or for radicals if you say something right which is going to save the community then that freedom of speech is not allowed because truth is not allowed nowadays in this country but we don't need to stop we need to get going we need to. Say our voice. We Get a little spit. Are not slaves. And what will be the message after today? What's the final message? Wake up. Danger is coming. They're trying to put us down. Now. Wake up, otherwise it'll be too late. We got only three, four years. Three, four years. After that, it's not reversible. The tsunami of rapists are here. More coming in. Stop them now. Or you are done. Wake up. Hey, mate. Yes, yes. yes. How's, yes. how's today? It's do you know what today has been absolutely brilliant. I was absolutely good to the back time of Robinson being remanded, yeah. uh, being holded, and obviously not being able to attend no. the event, which is absolutely disgusting. Um, well, yeah, but overall, mate, the event has gone absolutely peaceful. I've not, I've not actually seen one of us. Yeah, neither have I. Peaceful, right. yeah, absolutely. And what's your message for Keir Starmer? Get out, get out, mate. He's absolutely ruining this country. Absolutely ruining it, destroying it. He needs to get out. Get out of power. Get out, Keir Starmer. You need to go. Come and see it for yourself. Honestly, um, I've not seen. Okay, stand, bro. Any disgruntled people all day? It's been really peaceful and really brilliant all around and don't judge off what other people show you and tell you in the media because it's all cut up and chopped come and see it with your own eyes um, and make an opinion of yourself don't be taught what to think teach yourself how to think and yeah okay guys so we spoke to both sides today didn't really kick off we didn't see anything too crazy but we let everyone have their say people were but i thought we'd just end the video here but yeah he was out all day man I think you did a good job, man. You did what you could, man, with both sides. It's just one one side is more available to talk. The other side's on the defensive. They're worried of anybody with a camera. I said what I said.